Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a beautiful and inspiring day and thank you so much for joining me today for another art video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my watercolor painting process for a grizzly bear. And I thought this would be interesting to share with you guys because I painted this exact same guy using the exact same reference picture around three years ago. I really feel that as artists, it's super important to continuously reflect and self-evaluate both on our creative process as well as our finished outcomes. And I think that this practice has helped me in two main ways. The I'm sure there are more, but mainly they allow me to pinpoint areas of improvement so that I'm able to move forward with a lot more direction, clarity, and intention, which definitely helps me improve my skills in specific areas a lot faster. And secondly, this constant reflection and self-analysis I feel has also helped me make a lot of progress towards finding my artistic style and voice. I find I'm able to discover more about my own artistic self as I'm not constantly looking outwards for inspiration, but actually creating and constantly reflecting on my own creations as opposed to constantly looking outwards for inspiration. I find I get to know more about myself and what message I sincerely want to put out into the world, what I want to create, and more importantly, how I want to create it, what it is that is going to set my work apart from other people's work. And I went much more into depth into this topic and my thoughts on finding one's own artistic style and voice in a video that I shared a while back. In that video, I share about how important it is to get to know ourselves and get to love ourselves and respect our own vision and really give power to our own personal influences, which we already have inside in order to start developing our own artistic style. So if that sounds interesting to you and like something that could be helpful to you, I'm gonna make sure to leave a link to that video down below in the description box in case you wanna go and check it out. All right, you guys, before sharing my old grizzly bear painting with you and talking a little bit about what I feel I have improved in, I wanna send out a huge welcome to everyone that is just visiting my channel today for the very first time. I am so, so happy that you found me and do consider subscribing because every single week I share new videos with art tips, drawing and painting tutorials and encouragement for aspiring artists. And I would absolutely love to have you here and join this growing art community. And I also wanna share with you guys that I am currently in the process of planning and producing my very first watercolor packaged course and what's so so cool is that I decided to make the entire course available for every single one of my patreons it doesn't matter what tier you choose to join everyone in my patreon community is going to get access to the entire course as it's being produced and is going to be able to get feedback from me as you're moving along the classes not to mention you're also going to have the opportunity to get your work featured here at my youtube channel this first course is going to be all about painting animals using watercolor and everyone that joins my patreon community before the end of january is going to be able to participate and get access before anyone else, as well as all of the behind the scenes work that I am doing for the course. So if it sounds interesting to you, make sure that you join before the end of January because I do want to keep the group small so that I can make sure that I am providing thorough and helpful feedback to everyone participating. All right, so after having said all that, I'm gonna briefly cut the video right here so that I can show you my old bear painting. All right, here it is. And this is where my work was at three years ago. And there are definitely still things that I like about this painting. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably already know that I'm a huge lover of contrast and I almost always manipulate the level of saturation of more natural looking colors in order to make them more impactful and create a greater contrast. And I definitely feel that this piece has contrast in it. I think what I like the most of the entire painting is the bear's snout. I really like the way that I rendered the nose and I created those highlights. However, all this said, I have also shared in past YouTube videos that throughout the past couple of years, I've been doing my best to get rid of my need for adding in those highlights with a second medium. 
And for this piece, I definitely used a white colored pencil and a white paint pen to help me add in highlights and textures because I still didn't have enough practice protecting my highlights when painting with watercolor. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. If you like the way that it looks, then by all means, go ahead and continue with what you're doing. But for me, I just really wanted to get to a point at which I could complete an entire painting using only watercolor. Another thing I can definitely tell about this piece is that um, because I created this preliminary sketch completely freehand, the same way that I created my preliminary sketch freehand for this new version, um, the proportions of the bear's head are a little bit off. The head seems a little bit too round and too small. Another couple of things that I wanted to make sure not to do in this new version for this grizzly bear was for this first version, I was still using ready-made blacks. I have since learned that when painting with watercolor, many times it's better to create your own dark color mixtures. And if you are going to be using ready-made black, at least bring a little bit of another color into it to add a little bit of a color temperature to it and give it a little bit more dimension because ready-made blacks tend to be very stark looking and very flat. I'm gonna be leaving a link to a video that I created all about this topic down below in the description box in case you wanna go and check it out. And finally, the last thing I wanted to make sure not to do in this new painting was to feel the need to render out every single little strand of fur. I wanted to keep things looser and less fussy. I wanted to create the illusion of fur without actually feeling the need of reaching for a smaller round brush to draw every single strand. And I only used three different paintbrushes for the entire head and the visible parts of the bear's body. I used only my one inch flat brush. And then I also had two round brushes on hand, one in size eight and one in size four, which I used only for the eyes and the snout area because they were smaller areas. All right, so I hope that that gave you at least a little bit of insight as to how I try to improve my work and try to move on with a lot more intention so that I can make faster progress. I do want to clarify that if you are doing any of the aforementioned things that I uh, was trying to correct or improve in my own work and you like the way it looks, then by all means, you should totally keep doing that. We're all on our own path. We have our own tastes and goals. And as with everything else in art, there is no right or wrong way to do things. What's important, I feel, is that we continue to strive towards improving in a way that makes us personally happy. All right, you guys, all of the watercolor painting supplies that I use to create this painting are gonna be left down below for you in the description box. And I am now leaving you to enjoy the rest of this painting process.
That is it for today, friends. Thank you so very much for checking out this video today. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it inspiring. If you did like it, please, please, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel get in front of more people. If you have any questions at all on this painting process, the supplies I use, etc., make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to get back to you, but I always read every single one of them. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that I can see you very soon and stay inspired.